In this video, we're going to take a quick look at what is arguably one of the most powerful, longest range flashlights on the market, the Thru-Night TN40. I mean, this thing is ridiculous. That's coming up on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me here in this harsh morning sunlight. The uh, folks at Through Night were kind enough to send me one of their new TN40 long range flashlights so I could show it to you. And that's what we're going to do. You know, you got to wonder just how far they're going to continue to push the limits of this whole flashlight thing. This thing is 4,450 lumens and has a rated throw distance of 1150 meters that's a long way and we're going to take a look at that in, in a few minutes um, as best as the camera will show it but before we do that let's take it down to the old stump top talk about the specs of this thing and then we'll get to doing some of that flashlight stuff okay so here's the through night tn40 and as you can see this is a pretty good size flashlight it weighs about uh 27 28 ounces and it's got a uh reflector that's about four inches three and a half four inches in diameter and about six or seven inches long i'll put all the actual specs in the description below just scroll all the way down to the bottom of the description and you'll find them but it has four cree dash l h i leds with a segmented very smooth reflector in here so you can really can, can throw the light out there and like all the through nights it comes with a non-reflective um, very clear glass, ultra clear glass lens and the um, aircraft grade aluminum and, and all that good stuff which is always pretty cool. And then this one has a couple of features that may be a little bit different. First of all, the, the batteries are integral in here so they're all made in as one unit and they are rechargeable only and it actually comes with this AC DC adapter which you plug into the wall just a standard AC receptacle outlet here and the other end plugs into the tail of the flashlight and it's got a little rubber cover on it and it's just a little round plug like this you just plug it in and it has a 2.8 hour recharge so it recharges very fast compared to a lot of other things and that's good and bad. The, the downside, I kind of agree with Ben with Living Survival who did an actually a very good review on this flashlight. And I won't tell you how it turned out, but he, um, he did a test to see if he could fry an egg on this flashlight. So I'll put a link to his channel below. If you haven't checked out Ben's channel, I encourage you to. It's really, really good. He scoops me on a lot of the stuff. He scoops me on the flashlight. So, um, and I, I encourage you to see that video. But anyway, I, I agree with him that I think this would be a lot more versatile if they could somehow make this a USB rechargeable instead of this adapter here. I understand that you're not going to charge it nearly as fast with the USB, but if it had that capability, it would definitely increase the uh, versatility of this light. You'll also see there's a little button down here on the bottom, and what that button does is you can turn, you can hit that button one time and see if you can see it in the bright sunlight. I don't know if you can see the, the color. Okay, right now it's blue. So while it's charging, it will tell you at what level of charge you've got the battery to, so you can tell when it's full or half full or whatever. Then when it's not plugged in and you're using it, you can check your, your ba remaining battery capacity by hitting that button one time. So the purpose of this button is just to check your charging and battery level. All your flashlight operations are carried out by this side switch. And we'll take a look at, at all the different modes and stuff in just a second. I want to show you everything else that comes with the uh, with the kit you're going to get a uh, extra o-rings and um, extra seals for everything because it is ipx8 waterproof and there's also in here there is a little uh key ring that, that you can clip onto the flashlight which i guess would make this possibly the world's largest keychain flashlight they also include a shoulder strap on the flashlight which is, um, for, a, for a flashlight this heavy, is probably not a bad idea. Because again, it's almost two pounds. And it, that way you can just have it ready to swing it at your side if you want to use it. And the way that works is you just clip the, uh, it's got a nice little clip here. You can clip it right on here like so. Very easy to use. And then the other side is a little different. It's got like a little spring clip here. And it just, there's a couple little holes right here above the button. And it, um, you just squeeze it in there and let it get in the holes and, and there you go it's in there so then this thing will swing on your shoulder however you want it so something ben pointed out in his video is that if you um this strap is actually right on top of the button which kind of puts it in the way if you're just holding it however I, I did figure out if you've got it on your shoulder like so 
then basically it's going to it's going to be right on top when you reach down for it with your hand you know which is i think is is probably the reason it's there and it's and actually i think it's a good design so um I like that that right there because if, if you're not going to have it on your shoulder there's really no need in having this strap and if you do it's going to be right where you need it so we're going to get that out of the way right now for the rest of, of the video so all that being said let's talk about the uh light levels and again to operate all the functions of the flashlight you're going to use the side switch right here the uh lowest level is firefly and the way to get the firefly is when it's off you're just going to a long press at one time Hopefully you can see it now. Yeah, okay, it's on. It's barely, you can barely see it in this daylight here. But the uh, Firefly is 1.2 lumens, and that is good for 57 days. Okay, then it has three standard modes, I'll call them, which will be low, medium, and high. And to, to access those three modes, you're just going to click the side switch one time. Bam, like so. And it's going to come on to whatever the last mode you had it set on was, which I, I like the memory feature. That means if, if you got it set where you want it, you don't have to fiddle around with it. But basically, you change through those. You've got a low, which is 90 lumens, which is good for two and a half days. You just hold it down. It cycles through to the next one, which is medium, which is 580 lumens for nine and a half hours. And then you cycle through to the third one, which is high, which is 780 lumens, good for 2.7 hours. Now, I want to point out something that Ben noticed, and I've noticed the same exact thing. So, let's put it on medium so you can see what I'm talking about. So, that's the medium. If you let it sit for just a few seconds, when you hold it down again, it goes back to low and starts the entire cycle again. So, it doesn't just automatically go to the next one. So, whenever it, once it is basically set itself as to what level it's going to be for long, and you leave it long enough to set that level, when you reset it, it goes back through, starts it back at low again. And then, of course, it has the... Uh, turbo level or what I call just stupid bright and that is 4450 lumens is good for 85 minutes and the way you access that is you double click the, the button and that comes straight to turbo it also has a strobe which is 1100 lumens so there's going to be a strobe alert here if that bothers you and the way you do that is you just double click it twice and that's the strobe so uh, that's really about it it has a beam distance of 1151 meters and again, it is IPX8 waterproof, impact resistant to one meter. So what I thought we would do is just is let it get dark and we'll take this thing out to um, the furthest distance I can find a clear shot from one to the other. And we'll do some distance testing on it and hopefully it'll show up on the camera. Okay, so I'm reflecting the uh, light off my truck, which is behind the camera. And we're here at the golf course. I'm going to just try to see how far we can shine this thing. I thought I was going to be able to get it like three quarters of a mile, but apparently there's a hill in the way at about halfway. So we're looking somewhere between a quarter and a half a mile. But I want to turn you around and let you see how well this thing shines in the distance. And then my son's going to take it out as far as we can go and shine it back and let you have a look at how that looks. So let's get to it. Okay, so first of all, here is the Firefly mode. And it's pretty bright. Um, you can actually, um, here it is shining at my face. Now to go to the, um, to the regular mode, we just turn it on and hold it down, let it cycle through the modes. Okay, so this is the low on the regular. And you can see it's still got a pretty good beam out there. Um, cycle through to the next mode. And you can see it re really reaches out pretty good. And you can, I don't know if you can see the top of that hill up there. It never really shows up as good on camera. And then um, to the normal high, which is here like so and it does look really like a spotlight and then we'll just go to turbo and i don't know if you can see this let me see if i can get behind the camera and really see where it's shining but that thing is absolutely crazy crazy bright out there i mean you can see it shining up in the sky it looks like a spotlight for sure so i know i can see out gosh um that's at least 500 yards to the top of the hill out there and I can see it just fine. So without a lot of further rambling, I'm gonna give this to my son and let him take it on a bike as far as we can go. We'll see how well it turns shining at the camera. Okay, so now I don't know if you can see that little spot in the distance. That's my son with just uh, my black diamond headlamp on, just a regular, I don't know, 90 lumen light or whatever. So, okay, Josh, go ahead now and just click it on to, to the regular mode. Just click it one time, shine it straight towards the camera here. Okay, so, okay. So cycling through the three different modes, it goes back from high, down to low, back to medium and to high. Okay, now double click and let's see the high. 
Okay, so that's about um, 500 yards away, probably maybe close to six. This is a par five. And that is crazy, crazy bright. I wish you could see how bright it is with your naked eyeballs. So, okay. There you go. That's about all we can do. Anything further is over the hill. We won't be able to see it. But that's pretty bright. Remember the time Chuck Norris got beat up? <laughs> yeah, me neither. Okay, so here we are in the old backyard studio area. So there's this firefly. And we're about 10 foot from the wall there. And you can see, even though it is a firefly, it still makes a little bit of a spot. Okay, so now we'll go to just the normal. We'll click it one time. And that should be low. That's the last one I had it on. If you hold it down, it should cycle through to the next ones, to the medium and the high, back to low, medium, and high. We'll go back to low. Um, it's on low now. If I click it one time, it goes off. Click it back on, it comes to low. If I hold it down one time, it goes to medium. Okay, so I click it off. When I come back on, it should be at medium, which it is. If I hold it down again, though, it goes back to low, then back to medium and to high. So it doesn't go to the next one. Every time you hold it down, it goes back to low and starts over. That's kind of confusing, but if you know that, it really takes the confusion out of it. So, And then on the wall, again, from 10 foot, we'll go ahead and go to the wow, <laughs> the uh, craziness. And I know it looks like a really tight circle there from 10 feet away. It's got probably, gosh, a 20-foot radius on this circle. So let's turn you around and look at the old outdoor testing area. So first of all, just for kicks, we'll go to the Firefly, and you can see that basically it's on the ground. Maybe you can see a little bit, but that's about it. So then we'll turn it, turn it on and see which one it's on. So low, medium, high. So that is low in the outdoor testing area, and you can sort of see it. It's still pretty bright. It's a pretty tight spot. Again, it's got a lot of bleed over on this spot, at least from, from this area. You can really see a pretty wide area. Hold it down one more time. goes up to the medium, and super focused and intense there one more time it should go back to the low so see so anyway that's the high and you can see that beam looks like it's pretty cool if you ask me it doesn't look that focused and tight you know narrow beam in the real world here it actually lights up a pretty wide area but it still is a very focused spot and then we'll just go to uh, the uh, turbo which is crazy i mean that is just looks almost like a lightsaber on the video there that's pretty cool but you can see it really almost washes out it's so bright at the back backyard studio here okay well that's a quick look at the through night tn40 um, flutter and thrower flashlight I gotta tell you i like this light a um, couple of things i really like about it i like the fact that it's rechargeable so you don't have to worry about replacing batteries or anything like that i like the fact that it has a recharging slash battery life indicator on bottom i think that is something that's really missing from a lot of rechargeable flashlights it's a it's a need to have feature in my opinion obviously i like the fact that it will reach out and throw some light and not only does it get out there as a spotlight but as you saw hopefully in this backyard studio shots it does a great job as a floodlight too i mean this thing just throws the photons i actually like the fact that it has a shoulder strap and the fact that the button is oriented right on top when it's connected with the shoulder straps. There's no fumbling around because sometimes in the dark, these little buttons are not really pronounced and you got to feel around for them. And I like the fact that I know it. if I got the shoulder strap on, I'll know it's right on top. Um, I also like the fact that like all through nights, this comes with a free two year replacement warranty, which is pretty cool because this is not a cheap flashlight. It's around the 260 to 70 dollar range or something like that. So it's not going to be for everybody. But if you need a flashlight that reaches out there and really throws the light out, whether it's for work or sport or hunting or security or whatever, um, you know, this could be an excellent choice for you and a really good investment. Um, the only thing that I would say to through night uh, that that I would recommend if, if they're going to change this or update this or upgrade it, I really wish it had a way to recharge it with the USB. I understand that typically that's not going to give you the same recharge time, but if there was some way they could make this thing dual rechargeable where you could recharge it with the included adapter or with a mini USB, that would just increase the versatility tremendously, especially if you're out in the field or in the woods hunting or camping with this thing and you're not around AC power, that would at least give you the ability to recharge it and keep it topped off with solar or battery banks or whatever else you can use to get USB power. Um, again, I know it won't go as fast, but it would definitely help increase the versatility. That would turn this from a home run to a grand slam in my opinion. So anyway, 
Thanks again to the folks at Through Night for sending me this flashlight so I could show it to you. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for clicking that thumbs up, and thanks for sharing this video with all your friends. And thank you so very much for supporting this channel by doing all your Amazon shopping through the Survival on Purpose links. If you use those links, it takes you to Amazon, you shop like normal, you pay like normal, you can use your Prime like normal. It just helps benefit the channel a little bit when you buy something. And I really sincerely appreciate it. So once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time. Um, obviously, I believe it's Felicity.